Do you guys like stories? Yeah. Well, I'm very exciting to tell you guys a story that I heard when I was little, like you guys. And the story is about a little boy. His name is Michael. He was about 10 years old. This little boy was very, very creative. He was very creative that he would even make his own toys to play with. And he was like a professional. He would make different toys and different kinds of toys. But one day, he decided to make a little boat. I don't know how, but he just made a really good boat that it was really special for him. It was important for him that he really loved it so much. He loved it more than any other's toys. And he kept it. He, take, he took care of it. But guess what? One day, he lost that bo little boat. Then he was worried. He was sad. But then he was like, wow, what am I going to do? I mean, I still have many other toys, but I really love, I really love that toy that I have. I really liked it. So I better go and look for it. So he went out. Can you imagine this little boy like you guys, Michael? He went out and look, looking for that little boat. He went everywhere. He couldn't find it. But he never gives up. The next day, he went to the city looking for his little toy. And he looked up. He saw this sign that says it, it's, a, it's a store that they have, like, they sell toys and stuff like that. And then he, he looked around, and on the other side of the glass, inside the store, he saw this little boat, and it looked like his. So he was like, wow, that's my boat. This, they, these people st stole it from me, and now they have it here. They, they were, they're going to sell it, and I better get it back. So he went in the store. He was asking for the the manager, the manager came out and was like, okay, what do you want? And then he's like, well, that's my toy, and I want it back. I created my own. I really want it back. But then the manager told him, if you want it back, you're going to have to buy it. Because now it's ours, and we sell them. We don't just give people uh, toys for free. So he was like, okay, how much it is? How much is it? Then the manager was like, well, it's only $8. So he's like, okay. Can you save that for me? Because I'll come back in the next two weeks and give you the money. The manager was like, sure. So this little boy goes back, tried to work for his parents. So he can earn some money. And finally, two weeks later, he finally had $8. So he went back to that store and got his little boat back. And I just want to let you guys know that we are that little toy that we lost sometime, that our even creator, Michael, which is Jesus, he created us. And when we were lost, he went out everywhere looking for us. And when he found us, he found us trapped in the, proper, the property of Satan. And Satan said, you cannot have him back unless you pay the price for it. And that's what Jesus did. He died on the cross to pay for us. He paid our ransom. And now we're back. We were once lost, but now we're found because the price that Jesus paid for us on the cross. And I want you guys to repeat after me about this quote that I really like. Since he brought us back, you know, I just want you guys to keep this in mind. And please repeat after me. I am not what I've done, but I am what I've overcome through the power of Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for another day of life. Thank you for this precious children, Heavenly Father, that you're putting in my life and in others as well. Heavenly Father, we sin every day and every moment. But your promise in John chapter 1 verse 9 says that if we confess, you are just faithful to forgive us. And we're glad that you found us and forgive us, Heavenly Father. We pray that you may be, each one, may be with each one of us. Be with these little children. Be with their parents and their teachers. Give them wisdom and knowledge to teach these little children, these precious people. And Heavenly Father, help us to become more like them, become like one of them, so that we may enter your kingdom one day. Heavenly Father, please help them to be obedient children, children of obedience. And I pray that you may just be with us each day as we continue. And now be with these children as they quietly go back to their room, Heavenly Fathers. Pray this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen.